around 20 bishops, the first batch of those who come. The nuncio will be coming in the next days, and the president of CBCP and more bishops. My point is, despite our heavy schedule, to show that we love the youth, they are here for the National Youth Day. Yay! Special mention to Bishop Paul Hosean, the Episcopal Chair of the Commission and the Youth, and of course the previous host, as Bishop De La Cruz of Zamboanga, and the next host as Bishop Tirona of Naga. Shall we give them a round of applause, please? Of course, my special welcome to all of you, our dear participants, coming from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Shall we give all of you, please, a, round, a big round of applause? Welcome to Cebu, the province, the church of Senor Santo Nino. Shall we give the Santo Nino a round of applause, please? Welcome to Cebu, the cradle of Christian civilization. Welcome to Cebu, the church of San Pedro Calungsot. Shall we give Santorinio and San Pedro Calonso a round of applause? Despite the earthquake, despite the delay in flights, you are here and we are very happy. For all of you, and I say again, welcome. Maayon, palipayong pagkabot. In the next five days, we join our hearts and voices in thanksgiving to God for the many gifts the Lord has bestowed upon us. We thank the Lord for the gift of faith. We know that 498 years ago, or barely two years, Christianity has come to our country. We look forward to 2021 and the National Youth Day is part of that joyful celebration. As we come, we thank the Lord for the first Mass on March 31 and Sunday, 1521. As we come, we thank the Lord for the first baptism held in Cebu on April 14, 1521. As we come, we thank the Lord for the gift of the Santo Nino to Queen Juana, again in 1521. And so, we have reasons to thank the Lord and reasons to be happy because the Lord loves us. The Lord has gifted us with His wonderful blessings. Amen. Let's give the Lord a round of applause.